y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be getting ready with you guys, chatting with you, answering your questions, and drinking some tea while I just kind of catch up with you. I feel like I haven't done this in such a long time. I've been sick and I'm finally feeling better, but I, if I sound a little bit nasally, then that's why, because I'm still getting over a cold, but my tea is helping so much since my throat is kind of sore right now. If you're wondering, this is just um, the teamy skinny tea that I like and I talk about a lot on my um, Instagram, so I will put my discount code down below. I just really like their tea and it really helps my sore throat and I have honey in it, so it's definitely helping out with that. Whenever I'm not feeling good, I love just doing these types of videos to where I don't have to totally be on and I can just kind of chat with you. I'm gonna be testing out some new stuff that you haven't seen on my channel yet, which is really fun, and I'm gonna be answering your questions. So let's first get started. The only thing I have on my face right now is I did apply some of this Color Science Total Eye 3-in-1 Renewal Therapy. And this is an under eye treatment that helps conceal dark circles. So I did apply some of that. It helps to not only treat your under eye area, but also conceals a little bit, which is awesome. And it has like a peach tone, so it already masked the really dark under eye circles that I have from being sick. So now I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Blemish Rescue Skin Clearing Anti-Redness Mattifying Primer. And I don't believe I have talked about this yet on my channel, but I've been using it for a while. It actually is a green color, but I like this because it has salicylic acid in it, which is really awesome to have in a primer. And I do have a blemish going on right now on my chin, which is super annoying. I just did my skincare routine video where I was talking about how clear my skin is, and it usually is, but then when I get one breakout, like during that time of the month, like it's a hormonal breakout on my chin and it's always so bad. I'm just gonna go over my blemish with the Mario Badescu drying cream, and I talk about this in that how to conceal acne video, and I like applying this right underneath my makeup, and I do this after my primer, because obviously my primer just wipes it away. Um, but again, this will help treat it and also conceal it just a little bit. All right, so let's dive right into foundation. This is the one I've been testing. I talked about this on my Instagram. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I have mine in the shade Classic Ivory, and I love CoverGirl foundation, so I had to try it out. I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I can't remember the name of this, but I love e.l.f. foundation brushes. And I'm gonna start applying this to my face. So while I'm doing this, let me get the first question up. So first one, do you have a theme for your wedding? I did get quite a few questions about my wedding and it's funny you guys asked because Nathan and I were just talking about this last night, how we've been terrible and procrastinating about planning a wedding, which seems so weird to people. They're like, why aren't you excited? You know, we've been together. I think we're going to have our 12 year anniversary um, this coming spring. And we got engaged when we first started building our house. And so that's really been the focus is to get settled and obviously all of our money was going to the house. And we were just talking last night about how like, it's really time, we need to get to that and get on it Well, I need to. Um, and I've just been so busy between my various jobs that I have to where I haven't had really time to just think about it and see what I wanna do. Um, I don't really have a theme to answer your question. Um, we have talked about though how we would like it to obviously be, be this year. I guess we've come up with that conclusion that it needs to happen this year and it's already January, so I'm already clearly behind. Um, but we were thinking in the fall would be really fun. So I don't have a theme yet, but it's probably gonna be like country theme. You know, we do live in the mountains, so it's probably gonna be that type of theme, but I don't wanna go overboard with the whole like country wedding like you see all over Pinterest because I always like not doing what everyone else does. So we'll see. This foundation is covering really well. Like I don't even really have to use a lot of concealer on that blemish that I have. So that was Anna, by the way. Thank you for asking that question. So Marissa Harrison asked, is it common for one person to have many curl patterns? I have a mixture. Yes, it is. I have so many different curl patterns. I consider myself like 3B. I'm gonna go ahead and use concealer. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. Mine is in this shade Fair. But yes, it's totally normal. It all depends on how much damage your hair has. Like I have highlights in some areas that are still growing out. Those areas are a lot looser. Like look at these dead ends that need to be cut off, um, which I totally should get those cut off. If you have some of those scraggly ends that aren't really curling, then those need to be cut off. So those can be a lot looser just because they are damaged and the bleach and stuff really messes with your curl pattern and will make it looser. But yeah, you can have so many different curl patterns. It'd be looser, like up here my hair is a lot looser, but then underneath I have these really tight, almost like type um, C curls that are really, really tight. Right, next question was from Marisol. She said, how do you balance your YouTube career with your normal 
work day. I've been sharing a little bit more about my like everyday work life during the week or I've been trying to on my Instagram stories because during the week I'm pretty much offline from like YouTube and social media because I'm just in the midweek work grind. So it's not until the weekends when that's finally off my mind and then I can focus on my YouTube. So it's really hard and I don't have an easy way to do it. And with the new year, I've been trying to just get a better handle on everything because I don't wanna like miss deadlines or you know not be as strategic about my videos and I just want everything to be a little bit more organized and I feel like I can do both. It's just a matter of like, you know, having everything under control and not over committing myself one way or another. Um, I'm just gonna use some concealer on my blemish. This is the Amazing Cosmetics Hydrate. I need a new one, I'm like scraping the bottom. But basically, I don't have a good answer, although it does help to stay organized. I've been doing a whole lot of like planning and productivity stuff and really just trying to get a good handle on like just balancing my whole life and I think it would be helpful to share with you guys like stuff that I've learned and been listening to a ton of business podcasts and like ebooks and stuff like that that I've been listening to or audiobooks um, and I've really just been trying to learn you know and every second of my day is spent like I was just listening to an audio book about influencer marketing while I was doing laundry this morning so it's just like every little extra bit of time that I have I'm trying to learn something and it's usually about like blogging and my career and stuff so I just try to maximize every second and I really have been focused on, I'm using powder. This is the e.l.f. Um, Perfect Finish HD Powder. I'm using this flat Becca brush to apply, which I really like. I'm not really big on like paper planners. Like I love the idea of using like a planner and I know people are really into planning, but I'm just not into really writing things down. I love stuff on the computer. So I've been obsessed with this new software that I found for planning and it's totally free. So I'd love to share that kind of stuff with you guys. Um, so maybe over on my blog or I might do some videos if you guys are interested in more of like work life balance stuff and just management and time management and all that kind of stuff. I've just been really trying to get good at it um, because it definitely takes a good amount of skill to balance all this different stuff. So I'm gonna use this Jane Dream bronzing powder. I don't know if this is available anymore, but I love this because it's matte and it's great for contouring. I'm using my Sigma Soft Angled Contour Brush. So if you guys are new to my channel and you didn't already know, I do obviously work full time. That's what I'm talking about here is I work 40, well, <laughs> more like, 48 hours a week um, at my full-time job and I work at a digital marketing agency and I've really been growing like in my career and stuff there so that's where the majority of my focus is all during the week and so I also really really love YouTube and that's definitely my passion and stuff and I would do this completely for free if I could it's just you know definitely my love and I've been doing it for so long so there's no way that I'm giving it up so I'm not going anywhere um, I'm just trying to, I guess, craft a better way to be really good at both of them because I love both my jobs so much. Um, so I just want to be the best that I can at both. So it's a constant struggle. I wish I had one good answer for it, but you gotta stay organized and really disciplined and I spend the weekends working on YouTube and that's what I wanna do. Um, and a lot of work evenings up late and stuff and it's just hard, but I love it so much. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Uh, maybe I'll do another video on that or something if you guys are interested in that kind of life stuff, let me know. Now for blush, I'm gonna use this Pixie Glow Cake in Pink Champagne Glow. I showed this on my Instagram and you guys thought it was really cool. I actually have one of these to give away. Maybe I'll do an Instagram giveaway um, after this video goes live so you can follow me over on there if you want to win the other color of this. I'll probably give that away to one of you guys. Um, so look for that post after this video goes live. But I'm just gonna pick up like the blush shade here in the middle on this Sigma um, angled brush and apply that to my cheeks. This is a really pretty blush. It just goes well with my skin tone. I feel like it would work on anyone's skin tone. What is your favorite overall makeup brand? Maribel asked that. Um, that's really hard. I would probably say for high end, maybe Urban Decay, I don't know. I guess probably Urban Decay, I like a lot of their stuff. I find that I use a ton of their stuff. Um, you guys probably get tired of seeing it, but their eyeshadows are really great. I love like that concealer that I've been using. I love their eyeliner, so much stuff. I also really like Tarte. And then for drugstore, I would probably say like Maybelline, CoverGirl, NYX I really like. I'm gonna use this highlighter. This is from Kaja Beauty and it's the Moki Glow. This is in Prism. I got like a ton of their products. This is a new, um, I think it was like a Korean brand or something. It's a new brand that sold at Sephora. And I've really been liking their stuff. I just haven't done like a full video on them because I've still been kind of testing everything out. 
but this is like a cream highlighter and it's a really pretty like rose gold pink color. Oh, I should have also mentioned the type of look that I'm going for. I think I'm gonna go with more of a cool tone look and a lot of you have been requesting cool tone eye looks, so I'm gonna do that for today's video. All right, now for brows, I'm using these two new brow products that I showed in my recent video on how to get like bushy, um, fluffy brows. Um, and this is, these are both from Lime Crime, which I've never tried their stuff before. This is totally new to me. Um, and this is their Bushy Brow Precision Pen. So we're actually gonna draw on some um, brow hairs. If you don't have a lot of brow hairs, then this technique is gonna be really great for you. I'm first gonna comb them upwards. And I've really been into that feathered brow look, so if you wanna see that video, I will link it for you on how to do this. It's really easy. But this is basically like an eyeliner pen, and I basically use this to create little lines that look like brow hairs. And I kinda angle them upwards, which helps make my brows look fuller and just, and so this way, it just looks more natural because it has that feathered look to where you can almost see the little brow hairs. No harsh lines at all here. And I can use this to create an arch because I can make artificial looking hairs. Now I'm gonna blend that with my spoolie brush. All right, let me find another question while we do the other brow. So Lenny asked, how do you put your hair up in a bun like you have it today? So when I filmed that story, I was wearing my hair up. I actually have a video on my channel of how I do like a messy high bun with curly hair. It's an old video that I did with Garnier, but I pretty much do the same thing. Um, so I will link that for you guys. If you want an updated video, then definitely let me know. But the key with putting your hair up with curls is to not brush your hair do it once your hair is totally dry. You don't wanna have wet hair when you go to put it up because it's just a mess and it makes so much more frizz. So I really recommend having your hair be totally dry when you put it up. And it helps if your hair is like a few days old, like it has a little bit more texture to it from like refreshing and stuff instead of super clean hair. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the Bushy Brow. This is the um, Brow Gel and this is in Baby Brown. And I really like this brow gel because it's a drier formula, so it's not overbearing. You're not gonna like add a ton of cakiness to your brows. It's just really light and soft. And I just use this to kind of brush my brow hairs up and then I kind of tame them down just on the tip. But I especially brush them up here in the middle. All right, let's get another question. Someone asked, is there a clothing fad that has come and gone that you couldn't stand? Um, I don't know, I don't keep up with trends very well. I'm just gonna use a primer. This is the Urban Decay Eden. I have a bunch of these samples I've been trying to use up. Actually, no, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Original. I'm just so into like makeup and home stuff that I find myself neglecting fashion. I don't know, I mean, there were so many trends that I don't care for that were from like the 2000s that I remember dressing like in high school, like flared jeans or um, really low rise cut jeans. Like I love high-waisted stuff now and I'm glad everything comes like normal or high-waisted, not super low. So I'm glad that that um, came and is gone. All right, so now we're gonna go on to shadow and this is the only palette I could find that would be good for a cool tone look since you guys were requesting it. So this is the Smashbox Cover Shot and Punked Eye Palette and I think I've done a few videos on this before so I'm sorry if it's a repeat but I love this palette and I'm always reaching for it. I like because it has really light um, purple tones in it, which look amazing with brown eyes. I can see this looking good with green and blue eyes too, um, but just on brown eyes, these tones are perfect. So I'm first gonna just take an eye shading brush, which is just a flat one. I'm gonna wipe it off from where I used it last weekend. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with this shadow here, which is a really pretty shimmery pink. It's a really nice foiled color. And we're gonna go all over the lid. So I've been going back and forth in my mind about a new video series that I wanna do and I wanted to get your thoughts on it. Um, I love doing series. I've done like problems and solution where I like cover how to fix common makeup problems like over blended brows or um, you know, patchy foundation, that sort of thing, which did really well. And so I could continue going on with that series. If you have any of those, leave them down below. I might continue with that series. Now I'm gonna go in with this um, blending brush. It's more of like a pinched one. And I'm gonna take this shadow here, which is the darker gray, and this is what I'm gonna use in the crease. Um, but anyways, I've been going back and forth in my mind about a series of videos where everything is very short, like their videos are under five minutes and it's like quick tips, but overall, I know people don't have a lot of time, so they would just be like quicker videos. So what kind of stuff would you want to see when it comes to makeup? Like, is there, something that you struggle with when it comes to application stuff. Like I love doing beginner stuff and really breaking it down and making it more simple for you to follow. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with that same brush and I wanna add a little bit more purple. So I'm gonna take this really light purple shade 
and I'm gonna go right in the crease with it just to add a little bit more dimension, but you could totally skip this. All right, now we're gonna do the brow bone, and for that, I'm just using a fluffy blending brush from Sigma, and I'm picking up this really light pink shade, which is great as a brow bone highlight. So Tina asks, what are your most favorite hair products? Hi, Tina, I always see you on Instagram. Thank you so much for all your support all the time. Um, let's see, my favorite hair products, that's really hard. I've really been enjoying the Cantu products. I've been testing them out a lot, and I like how they're more affordable and they're available at the drugstore. All right, so I'm gonna go on to liner. I'm just gonna use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil, and I'm just applying some to this um, flat definer brush from Sigma. I'm just drawing it right on. I'm gonna use this brush to apply it. Um, so back to the question, my favorite hair products are probably Diva Curl, Cantu, and Bounce Curl. I really like their gel. And then I've been loving Shea Moisture's products recently. If you didn't see my review that I did raving about the Shea Moisture gel, then you gotta check that out. So now I'm gonna take the liner and go right into my tight line. So Jade Collins asks, who's your biggest makeup influencer? So who do I really like? I really look up to Emily Noel 83 She's been on YouTube for so long. She's such an inspiration and she has similar content to mine where she's all about you know everyday beauty and stuff like that. So she's definitely one of my favorites. All of her stuff is wearable, you know, everyday beauty focus. So I really admire her channel and stuff. All right, next question from Stephanie. What is your favorite makeup brand? You know what's crazy that I just realized recently? I have never tried anything from Morphe. And I know it's like super popular and maybe I've been living under a rock and like haven't been in touch with what's going on on YouTube with being so busy, but like it's insane how much that they have blown up, you know, with their brushes and stuff. And I'm like, how have I never tried anything from them? You know, I'm not on their PR list or anything, so it's not like I receive stuff from them. Um, but would you guys want me to review something? And if you do want me to try out their products, leave me your recommendations down below. What should I try for my very first Morphe purchase? Should it be their brushes? Should it be any of their palettes? I normally don't curl my lashes, but I'm just doing this since I am gonna be using those magnetic false lashes. All right, so now for mascara, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lash Sensational, which is my all-time favorite. The so next question is from Caro, Caro, I think. Could you give us advice for growing our channels and finding inspiration for new videos? So this is a tough one, and obviously something I struggle with all the time, and I think it's really important to have your specific niche, you know, of what you're focused on, which is what I was just talking about, where I'm really focused on everyday beauty. And obviously there's a million beauty channels out there. What is it that your channel can offer that is different from everyone else? And how can you kind of play off of that? And so when you're looking for new video ideas, you know, listen to your audience, find out what they want. Also, you know, craft all of your ideas around that one central purpose that you have. So your niche is your why, you know, why are you on YouTube? I really like helping people. I like, you know, things to be achievable because I'm all about, you know, really efficient, you know, everyday looks and things like that. So, so literally everything that I do, oh, well, that's cute. Literally everything that I do, whether it be a hair product or a makeup product or whatever should be focused on um, how can this be, how can I simplify this look to make it easy for anyone at any skill level can achieve? I guess what I'm saying is when you're looking for video ideas, look for things that will fit along with your purpose. Wow, I just made a total mess. See, this is real, you guys. <laughs> this is real life. You know, when you're doing your makeup and you mess up, how do you fix it? You really should wait for it to dry before you go and try to fix it. So I think really just keeping your viewer in mind and finding out what they need help with is how I would recommend not only growing your channel, but how to find new video ideas. Kelly and Miguel ask, what's your favorite thing to do on the weekend? <laughs> well, as I mentioned, I'm such a grandma and I don't do anything on the weekend. Um, so my favorite thing to do is film videos on the weekend. And I'm not just saying that, but I really just, like I said, just doing this, I just love it so much. But if we're talking about fun thing to do on the weekend, you know, that doesn't involve working because I love to work. Um, it would probably be like going to wineries and breweries and stuff around here. We have so many in this area. Um, and I just enjoy touring different ones and going with friends and just spending time with friends doing that. Winter, it's a little bit tougher, but my favorite thing is just to stay home with Holly, my puppy and Nathan and just relax um, because I don't get a lot of time obviously to myself to just do nothing. Um, so that's really refreshing sometimes for me is to just relax. So you know I was talking about the Shea Moisture Gel and how I can't wait to see your results. 
Marlene actually sent me her results on Instagram and she gave me permission to share, but I will put her results right here. So amazing. You look gorgeous, by the way, and thank you so much for sending me this. It went perfect timing as I'm, you know, sharing questions and stuff from you guys um, from Instagram, but your results look so good. All right, so that's gonna be it for questions now because now we gotta put on these lashes, which is gonna be a tough one, but I wanted to share them with you guys. These are from Irresistible Me. I've talked about these before. These are magnetic accent lashes. And these are my favorite. I tried the Ardell ones and y'all, I just could not get used to them. They do not look as good as these. Um, these are just more natural looking in my opinion because the magnet gets hidden a lot better. The Ardell ones, you can just see the magnet. I don't know why they made them that way. It's really annoying. Um, but I'm gonna put these on and you will be able to see how easy it is. I've done a full video on these, by the way, on how to apply them. It's an old video, but same concept. So you just pop the top one on like that and the bottom one just snaps on and it just sandwiches your natural lashes in between the two magnets so it sticks on. But I find that if I don't put these too close to the root, then they're more comfortable to wear. I almost forgot the lips and then, good Lord, we are done. I've been at this way too long. So for the lips, I decided to go with one of the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine lip glosses. I always reach for these like every day. This one is in Back Talk, and I think the light purple color is perfect. I've done a full swatch video, I will link for you down below, where you can see every color and how it looks on my lips. So we are finally done with the look. I know this was a long one. If you guys stuck around, I love you so much. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for submitting your questions. I love to hear from you and all the stuff I kind of talked about. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, I'm going to list out all these products that I use on the blog post that goes with this video, and I will have that link for you down below. It'll be the first one in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you join my YouTube family, and I hope to see you back next week. Bye, everyone.